We're often asked here at Ask AD, why do we not see any bad products reviewed? Well, the answer is simple. We get sent lots and lots of products from manufacturers and only the good products that we assess make the cut. And frankly, you guys are not gonna wanna buy bad products. So, just to prove a point, here is a genuine review of a product that I hate. Hello, today I'm going to be reviewing the boot from Okay, let me tell you about this boot. <clears throat> now, I don't often do bad reviews, but in this boot in particular, I'm really finding it difficult to find anything good to say about it. Um, I wouldn't mind this boot if this boot was priced at around £30. The problem I've got with this boot is, this boot is priced at just under £90. It's aimed at a waterproof um, market so it's got an S3 rating it's got a built-in sock it's got some leather on it um, and that's really where it stops um, if I brought a basic chucker boot from another brand uh, around 25 30 quid I'd have more comfort and more features just check our other reviews out for those sort of products okay let me just tell you why this product is so bad <clears throat> The sole unit has had no thought gone into it at all. Absolutely no thought at all. It's a molded sole. It's come out of a mass produced factory somewhere in India or China where an item has just been picked off the shelf and it's been slightly tailor made for the manufacturer. It's a really bad mold. Um, it's not finished well at all. Um, you can just, it's like, a, we, we talked about this as being like a, something out of a plaster cast where it's not even been finished nicely. You can see like um, small like air pocket holes in the mold where it's not been sealed in right. Uh, it's got no ladder grip. Uh, it's got uh, the, 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 the sole unit itself where it's got the, the raised points which are supposed to be the grip points you can feel are hollow. So as soon as you start walking around outside and get a little bit of wear on that, it's gonna soak the water in. Um, I, I wouldn't trust the sole on it at all. I think that you'd get no um, slip resistance on it at all. Uh, it just doesn't feel like even on this counter here, like it would actually give you any grip. It's definitely not a rubber sole. It's some sort of polyurethane type sole. So there's gonna not have any SRA or SRC rating on it. And at 90 quid, you would expect that. Um, the finish on it is shocking. It's got um, <laughs> the sole unit where it's been attached to actually the boot itself has been used like a, a leather glue or a sealant and it's not even been wiped off properly. So you've got a nice leather brown boot with a black sole unit. They've stuck it together and they've spilt black ink on it where they've been trying to finish it. I've not even wiped it off. Just no care at all. And if I, if, if I was the manufacturer and I put my name to this boot, and I'm, you know, I, I would be shocked to see that, you know, this ended up on the shelf of, dis of a distributor somewhere. It's just nightmare. So, <clears throat> you know, I will be giving my feedback, obviously, to to the manufacturer to let them know that because these guys they can't check everything that's going out. You know, they may well have seen the prototypes and they loved it. A lot of care would have gone into the prototype. The actual finished article, no care at all. It's just shocking. I mean, e even down to the insole. I mean, the insole is just like, it's like a piece of like wood. If, you, if you're wearing this like all day, God only knows how your feet are gonna feel at the end of it. It's like horrible. So <laughs> yeah, rubbish. I, I just seriously got nothing so good about this boot. It's 90 quid, absolute rubbish. And um, it's terrible. For more great reviews, blogs and free stuff, visit AskAD.com. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. And for more videos, click here.